Good morning, everyone. Uh, starting the day off right here. We got us one nice coon sitting there. Uh, and we got us another coon sitting up there. So timber to timber going to corn. Nice double here to start the day. We'll get these suckers taken care of and be getting down the road. Well, we got us one muddy feller here. <laughs> uh, this culvert here goes to a timber draw on the other side of the road. And there's about a pond about uh, 70 yards on the on this side of the road where this trap's at. So good spot to pick up some coon. But <laughs> this guy here got himself a little dirty. So we'll get him taken care of and get down the road. Well, if you guys remember those timber to timber culverts uh, at the end of yesterday's video that had had doubles. Well, we're here. That's the first one, and it's got one there, and one there. So another double again today. Can they both double up two days in a row? We're about to find out. Get these two taken care of and get on down the road. All right, guys, we're at the next one. On uh, this big sucker knocked over the other DP, so just one down here. Nice big one, though. Have to space them out a little bit more. So three out of four on these culverts, so can't complain. I knew it was only a matter of time for this tube. Uh, concrete culvert going over to a cornfield. Uh, just a little timber draw here coming up from a creek bottom. So, And it got us a huge coon today. This coon is ginormous. That's probably a 27 pound coon. That's a big boy. So glad to have him. We'll be getting down the road. Well guys, uh, hopefully there's just enough light for you guys to see. But these dog proofs have sat empty for two days. And I switched them over to a fish based uh, smear bait in them on this water's edge. And we got one there that's really hard to see. And we got another one sitting right here. So uh, it's definitely paying off to switch those up along the water's edge. It seems to be hammering them pretty good. So nice double. Get these two taken care of and get down the road. You know what's very interesting? Coming down this rocky bridge, and that beaver dam was not there yesterday. Very interesting. We got a coon down here too. So. Nice to have him. This is the sixth coon out of this bridge and three checks. So I still can't believe beavers just decided overnight, yep, good time to dam her up. Kind of funny, but got us a nice coon sitting here. And he didn't get too dirty either, so I appreciate that. We'll get him taken care of him down the road. Well, well, well. Uh, caster mound there is empty, nothing in it. I looked over here. And pretty sure I saw saw a nice beaver sitting down here. Yeah, sitting right in there. Uh, caster mound right here. It got absolutely pummeled. And our beaver's sitting out there. So get it pulled up here. Water's really clear down here. We got for a beaver. Oh yeah, nice big one too. Got his whole back leg in that TS85. If I can get off of that ankle it's a hard part to get off of them it's a big beaver big old beaver that's a 50 i'd bet nice to be picking up some more beavers can't complain about that one bit get that grounder shoved out there Got to remember where I had my stake at there because it's kind of rocky in here. Uh, gonna have to put some more mud up there since they smashed down all my other mud. Suckers. Either him or another beaver came up here because I can smell them. I can smell, but they worked that over pretty good and put their own caster there. So. That trap bit it back in there. Get out my Dunlap's big pile. As you guys know, I swear by that stuff. Get my stick glob back up. Put back in there. And if I can get my lid back on here, we will be getting down the road with a nice big old beaver. I seen some grass rustling down here. Oh yeah, I see you. I see a friend stuck in all these daggum thorns here. 
nice coon too sitting down here in a tube uh, coming from a draw uh, big timber with cattle it's a cattle pasture with some big trees uh, going in this cornfield so nice coon boy they were definitely going to the corn last night uh, had a double here the first time these are kind of some smaller dudes here but had a double here first check nothing yesterday and another double today timber to corn so glad to have another double uh oh we got another one that had too much fun last night drinking some bush lattes that's not good didn't work out good for him he's just sitting here sleeping so and there's his case of bush lattes so we'll get him taken care of you know i'm kind of surprised this high bank trail is going to a disc cornfield and this is day three in a row it's had a coon and they're all nice ones that's a nice big one there uh really short nap big old boar so glad to have another one we're going on an absolute tear now guys i can't really it's been six or seven stops since we haven't had at least one so this guy here is actually missing an eyeball if you guys can see that uh, it'll be on the right side of your screen there you're missing that eye so good one to be taken out we'll be getting down the road all righty boy the water's really flowing down here now for some reason but down here i showed you guys those distempered coon at least i believe they're distemper killed uh so that beaver trap still set there we're gonna have to fix it all oh, these this coon here causing some problems but he's a nice coon we got a beaver over there too we'll go i'll go show you guys that one we'll get this coon taken care of and go go over to that beaver next all right here's our beaver floating here oh you guys saw me catch one over by that dam the other day boy that looks like a big beaver too uh just this little caster mound here is about all i did i might have shown you guys me making this i'm not sure i gotta mark my hole this one's really rocky see if i can get that pulled out of there oh yeah holy smokes Woo -hoo -hoo. that's a big old fat beaver there by the front foot see my pan tension is way too loose on this trap but not gonna adjust it at the moment we'll just run our rod back out there Oh, that ain't the spot it needs to be in. Let's try and get it back where I had her here. Because that spot I got that stake's about the only spot I can get that baby in there. So we got to get it lined back up. That is a ginormous beaver. Holy cow. Might have to weigh that one. Oh, wow. Just the girth on that thing is ridiculous. Oh, that's two big beaver out of here though, so. We'll find out here in a couple days if there's anything else in here. Oh, what's going on here? Let's try her again, there we go. Only problem I have with those TS-85s is that little, this little nut on the bottom here comes loose on some of them. Um, I'm going to tighten them all up before the spring, but I wasn't planning on doing any beaver trapping this fall, and here we are. Look at the tail. That's a big old beaver. So, we'll be getting out of here, guys. Nice coon and beaver. Well, we got one here with kind of a weird-looking face uh, running this high bank trail, and I can see at least one more on the other side. This is where I got both high bank trails set up, so we'll get heading over there after I get this one taken care of, and see what we got on the other side all right i'm making my way over uh, might have got some precipitation in this area last night this water's pretty murky uh, compared to what it was yesterday anyways but we don't have the water's edge set up anyways and this one is too rocky so i got the high bank trails loaded up i know we got one over here just the one it looks like yeah big coon though holy smokes he's a big old boy there nice coon other one sitting here empty but uh another nice coon guys get him taken care of and get down the road well the dog proof under this bridge that hadn't caught one yet finally got us one here today so glad to grab another one glad he stayed pretty clean too so always appreciate when they 
stay a little clean. So get them taken care of and get down the road. All righty, heading down the bridge where we had a, a skunk in this trap right here and we got a coon here. Walk over to the fish stick. Got us a coon sitting there. And then along this concrete wall over here, you guys can see they just got a beat down path along the wall. You got us a coon there, so nice triple. Very next location after that triple, we got us another nice coon sitting here, uh, coming from a rock pile and some old abandoned uh, farm equipment going to corn behind me. So nice coon, get him taken care of and get down the road. This sucker here destroyed this area. Uh, there's a trail coming over the tube here and I just sat down along the side of it here. Got us this big old timber to timber running coon here. So big coon, big coon. We'll get him taken care of and get down the road. Looks like we got us a pair of mud balls here. Got one curled up right there sleeping. Come over here. We got us another mud ball. So I broke the ice in here yesterday so I could clean the coon I had down here. And looks like it's going to come in handy today. So another double. Well, we got one little fella here. Come over here to these fish sticks. Got one coon sitting right there. Then we got us another coon sitting here. So another triple. We'll be getting down the road. All righty. Uh, just got back today. Uh, those front two rows are yesterday's catch yet, but these are all from the day. Came home with 48. So only dropping off one from yesterday's check. Really cannot complain about that one bit. Uh, great day. Great day uh, for what I've been running. For 150 traps, absolutely. So 48 coon puts me up to 1396 uh, on the coons. Uh, and then these are the two big giant beavers we got today. I'm going to have to weigh that one. He's a big boy. but Yeah, another great day. Only caught one possum too, so... That's nice. That that helps the coon numbers uh, if the possums aren't plugging up my trap. So very happy with how today went. 48 coon. Couldn't be happier. So especially with size of stuff, some like that and that and that. Yeah, we got some good ones. So anyways, y'all, uh, thanks for watching. And until tomorrow, hopefully, hopefully another day about like this.